A common narrative that's been floating around the internet over the years is that Inception either was heavily inspired by or straight up copied the Japanese animated film Paprika. Granted, these films do have some similarities. However, I don't think that these similarities are enough to demonstrate that Inception either was heavily inspired by or straight up copied Paprika. By choosing to focus too much on the film's similarities, we fail to recognize the fundamental differences between them and how they each handle dreams. So let's start this video off by talking about what makes Inception and Paprika similar in the first place. So let's get the obvious stuff out of the way first. Both Inception and Paprika tell stories about people entering the dreams of other people. Surely this is evidence of inspiration, right? Granted, Inception was released four years after the release of Paprika, but what most people will fail to tell you here is that Christopher Nolan actually started writing the screenplay for Inception ten years prior to Inception's release. In other words, he started writing it in the year 2000, a whole six years prior to the release of Paprika. You'd think that that fact alone would be enough to close this case, right? Well, not quite, unfortunately. When most people bring up these similarities between Inception and Paprika, they almost never compare their respective plots. Which is a huge problem, and I will be talking about that more later. Instead, the most common thing that you see online are just these little compilations of scenes being compared to each other visually. Compilations like this one. What frustrates me about these comparison videos is that anyone, and I mean anyone, who has actually watched both movies would immediately spot the problem with these kinds of comparisons. To really illustrate the problem here, let's just take those first two clips as an example. The clip from Paprika simply shows Detective Kanakawa running in place as a hallway starts to distort behind him. This is compared to a scene in Inception where Arthur is running down a hallway while gravity continues to shift. The problem with comparing these two particular scenes is that the only thing they share is that they're visually similar. That's it! However, contextually speaking, these scenes are very different from one another. In Paprika, Detective Kanakawa is inside his own dream, and the reason he's running in place is because it's a dream. That's it. There's no further reason for that. However, this is not exactly the case when it comes to that scene in Inception. You see, the reason why gravity starts to shift while Arthur is trying to make his way down the hallway is not solely because he's inside of a dream. In the case of Inception, the reason why gravity starts to shift in that scene is because, uh... Okay, bear with me for a moment. This is gonna be confusing for anyone who hasn't seen this movie, but, okay. Arthur is in the second layer of somebody else's dream. Meanwhile, Arthur is also asleep simultaneously in the first layer of some guy's dream, whatever. And while he's asleep, they're inside of a van, and that van is running off of a bridge, and that van's in free fall, which is causing them to be in free fall. Hello everybody, this is future me editing the video because I realized I made a tiny mistake here. So that scene in Inception doesn't take place at the same time as when the van is going off the bridge, but rather this happens when the van is getting knocked down a hill and is just rolling down the hill in this scene. 
So I just wanted to come in here and make that little correction. The overall point that I'm making the scene is still the same. But, you know, I figured at least one of you would be like, um, actually, blah, 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 blah. So, there. I corrected it. Back to the video. Which means that because of that, then, yeah, then that's why gravity's shifting in that scene. Not just because it's a dream, but because of all that other bullshit. The point I'm painstakingly trying to make here is that these scenes should not be treated as the same because they're not. And honestly, I can say the exact same thing about every single visual comparison that is made. This is actually a good segue for me to talk about the fundamental difference between Inception and Paprika. While doing research for this video, I came across a 2017 article titled The Synergy of Inception and Paprika, which says this. The most fascinating element of the relationship between Inception and Paprika is not their obvious similarities, but how these similarities can exist while the films are so fundamentally different. Inception is a film aesthetically inspired by surrealism, while Paprika is a surrealist film. I'm leaving a link to that article in the description of this video because they talk about these films in a way that's way more eloquent than I ever could. Anyway, this article highlights the fundamental difference between these two films. Paprika is a surrealist film, whereas Inception is just aesthetically inspired by surrealism. We can really start to see the fundamental difference between these two films by seeing how they each handle dreams. Paprika loves to illustrate dreams almost like a stream of consciousness. In fact, one of the best examples of this happens in the beginning of the movie. Inception, rather than allowing dreams to be this continuous stream of consciousness, instead imposes a strict logic to dreams. Rules that dreams and the people inside dreams have to follow at all times. Dreams can only have a certain number of layers to them. There are certain things that people are and are not allowed to do in dreams, otherwise the subconscious is gonna go batshit crazy and try to kill you inside the dream! <laughs> Compared to Paprika, Inception portrays dreams in a very restrictive way. Now, I don't want anyone to get the wrong idea here. I like Inception, I think that Inception's a good film, and I think that the decision to put these sorts of rules and restrictions on the dreams was necessary in order for Christopher Nolan to tell the story that he wanted to tell. The only point that I'm trying to make is that these films are fundamentally different. Therefore, Inception is not a copy or didn't copy Paprika. Like, we, 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 could, we could just stop with this story now. If you made it this far, thank you. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, I actually have two other videos that I've made previously that touch upon similar topics. I have a video where I touch upon surrealism, where I talk about Eraserhead, and I have another video where I talked about two movies that are also very similar to each other and yet simultaneously very different. Anyway, that's, uh, that's all I got for now, and I'll see y'all in the next one.